The Lantern Festival. On the night of the Lantern Festival, Chivati and his family are sitting together, eating sweet dumplings. Here are more sweet dumplings for you! <laughs> Do you want to hear the story of the first Lantern Festival? Should lower the taxes so the people can live more happily. Ah, ah, ah! I agree, Dong Fang Su. I will lower the taxes. Oh. One day, when Dong Fang Su was walking in the emperor's garden. He saw one of the emperor's maids, Yuan Xiao, crying at the well. Ah, <laughs> uh, what's wrong? <laughs> I haven't seen my family for years. I really. <laughs> Dong Feng Su wanted to help Yuan Xiao see her family. He tried to think of a way to convince the emperor to let her go. Don't worry, I have an idea. You will see your family soon. <laughs> really? A few days later, Dong Fang Su told the emperor that the fire spirit will burn the city on the fifteenth day of the first month of the lunar year. Uh, what can we do? There are three things we can do. First, we can give the fire spirit some sweet dumplings. Second, we can light lanterns and fireworks to trick the fire spirit. You will think the city is already on fire. Third, we can let the people into the city so the fire spirit won't know who to punish. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> great ideas! Oh, I will do just that. Oh. Everyone worked hard to prepare for the 15th day. They didn't want the fire spirit to burn them! Have you finished making the sweet dumplings yet? They are almost ready. Ah, what a beautiful lantern! Thanks! The night came! Everyone went to the city. Yu and Xiao finally got to see her family. Oh, my dear family, I've missed you so much. 
<laughs> oh, oh, thanks to Dong Fang Su, oh, we can be together again. Oh. Today, on the last day of the New Year festival, families gather together to eat sweet dumplings and light the lanterns. Pretty? Yes, it is.